Hi, Poro here, and today I've got a bit of a different video. Instead of a champion guide or an esports video, I'm here to help you with your challenges grinding. One of the tabs for challenges is titled Collection, and a big portion of this section is for different types of skins. If you aren't willing to blow thousands of dollars on the game, you'll notice that the skin requirements to max out all the tiers is extremely pricey. For example, each ultimate skin will run you about $30. You need 6 of them just to get to diamond tier. That's one of the cheaper skin challenges to complete as well. For some people like myself, this is just a bit too much. The only other alternative to grind for skins is with the loot system via skin shards that you can get by crafting with orange essence. Unfortunately, Riot has severely limited ways to get orange essence and none of it is that good. Most people will tell you to disenchant the skin shards you have to get essence, but I'm here to tell you that this is definitely not a good method. A skin will only disenchant for about one fourth of the actual cost, meaning you only actually get one skin for every four shards you disenchant. Even off the bat, the option to get a random skin by combining three other skin shards is already better than disenchanting. However, the challenges do require you to get specific types of skins, such as by rarity, a lot of skins for one champion, or multiple skins for multiple champions. As such, we can't actually afford to get rid of all these shards. We need every shard of epic rarity or higher, every legacy shard, and even some of the cheap shards if it means finishing off one of the collect 5 skins for a champion milestones. So how can we, as not rich players, get the orange essence necessary to craft every skin we need for challenges without either breaking open the wallet, gambling with the loot system, or disenchanting valuable skin shards? The answer is emotes. You guys might not have noticed, but every time Riot releases an event with an event pass, one of the options is to get a random emote permanent for 60 tokens. If you're strictly free to play, that means 5 emotes with the 300 free to play tokens. Your alternative, if you're free to play, is to get a singular orb for 200 tokens that will net you one skin shard, which is not good. If you're willing to shell out 10 bucks for the pass, you can get 35 to 40 emotes from the mission tokens alone, which is crazy value. 40 emotes will usually run you over $100 through traditional means. So now we have all these random emote permanents. What do we do with them? Well, actually, you just start to use them. The way that it works is that there are only a certain amount of craftable emotes. If it crafts you the one that you own, you can use that one to get another one that you don't own yet. Here's the catch. When you have all the craftable emotes in the game, which isn't actually that many, less than 300 at the time of this video, you can no longer craft unknown emote permanents anymore. Instead, you have the option to disenchant your already owned emote permanents that you can't use for a hefty 175 orange essence. With this, two emotes is already about the same as disenchanting a legendary skin shard. 60 event tokens gets you 175 orange essence now, which is absolutely an insane ratio compared to spending 200 tokens to get you one epic skin shard that'll disenchant for 270. Assuming you buy a pass for $10 and get 40 emotes, you now have 7,000 orange essence without losing a single skin shard in the process. If Riot ever sees this video and changes the way that emote disenchanting works in response, that would really suck. Until then though, this is by far the most efficient and cheapest way to get orange essence to grind out those challenges skins, and it's always consistent. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the challenges leaderboard in the future. Bye!